G'day folks, uh, just a quick little update for the week I guess, it'll probably be the only one. Um, as you can see I've been pulling things to bits and there's a server on the wall now and the wall PC is kind of hiding back there partially dismantled. I've still got it running because I needed to put videos up but uh, until I can get the corner PC down here, the one with the uh, Praetorian case and the um, Autogy in it that recently I recently upgraded. Uh, until I get that all sorted out, it's going to sit there and just hum away as a little video PC, then I'll retire it. But I've just got a few questions. I know um, Julian offered to give me a copy of Windows 8.1 to put on it. I'm not 100% sold on 8.1, but it's always an option. Uh, the other thing's FreeNAS. Has anyone used that to like run normal desktop um, applications and video editing, that sort of thing? Maybe that could work on it. Because I need something that will accept two processors, two Xeons, uh, that all both have four cores each. So two, two quad cores, they're 2.8 GHz, can't remember the exact die type, but they're, um, yeah, they're pretty good. Likewise, I'm going to have to stuff a ton of RAM in there. I don't have RAM in it at the moment. I've got about 4 gig that might fit it, but I want probably 16 or more, 32 gig. So I'll do that. Uh, drive wise I can drives are interchangeable this is a SAS based server serially addressed SATA so I'm just modifying some ultra caddies which go in like that Ups essentially upside down I think in the 2850 that was the top in the 2950 that's the top but you just file off those two little blue nipply things there that stop from being inserted you can see that little tab on the side of the drive bay there that they hit that and it doesn't go in but if you flip them flip the drive over like fit a um, SATA drive the other way around and file them off and file the end of this rail off a little bit shorter it goes in perfectly doesn't put any undue stress on the back plane because that little rail's been filed a bit shorter and it works full engagement the light pipes also line up because they're on the other other, um, the other side on the SAS one and SAS is also backwards compatible with regular SATA drives so it's really practical to try and get a SAS server rather than the old ultras because ultra drives particularly big high capacity ones I've never seen them the biggest I've got that's a 73 I think the biggest ones I've got a hundred and something 176.3 gigs or some silly designation like that so yeah they're I think they pretty much had their day, even though they're a good drive, I won't discount that, but these ones are also pretty sad from getting wet. Um, they did work, at least partially. It's the one that Jay the Aussie found on the side of the road and then ended up getting wet in his carport. Um, so it's that one had, had be seen better days and wasn't very happy, so I parted that one out and got rid of it. I also have another one that Julian gave me, which I could put parts into and get going, but again it's an ultra server. I'd rather stick with the modern SAS stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, operating system options, I'm all ears. I would love to get a copy or two, a genuine sealed copy or two of Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit. Uh, well, I assume it does 64 and 32 anyway. But apparently they're getting a bit hard to find, so I'll talk to some of my people who work in the IT business, and particularly computer stores, and just see if they have a box or two on their shelves still. I doubt it, but it's possible, because I really want to get it while it's still around. I don't really want to go up to 8, even if it is free. I mean, 8.1. I know I wouldn't do regular Windows 8, that's just terrible. Uh, Windows 8.1 is a bit better, but again, it's just, uh, maybe. I don't know. Um, Julian's saying he's converted. <laughs> he's got one, and he was offering me a copy or something. I can't quite remember, but I don't know. I like Windows 7. I personally, I prefer XP. I know people, some people hate XP, but XP just works on older systems. It just works. And it's simple, it's light, and it just doesn't give me any trouble. So I've always been using it, but now it's getting to the point where I'm, I'd be pushing its limitations and certainly wouldn't get all the features of a multi-core, multi-CPU system. So that's not going to happen. I can't put XP on it. Uh, anyway. I'll link you to his channel. We did have a bit of fun on Friday. As you can see, the hard drive's seen better days. 
good old hard cast 45 automatic bullets um, yeah they make a mess the cartridges were all well, the bullets themselves were 230 grains and close to factory propellant load so they were pretty hot well not hot but still full power and still a lovely firearm to shoot nice and heavy like the pistol itself was heavy so the recoil wasn't vicious some of the polymer 45s particularly the ones designed for um, concealed carry they are just brutal after a few a few magazines some people just can't shoot them for more than a few magazines they're good with them but their hand starts hurting after a while so you just avoid them they're not even legal in Australia because they're under I think under 110 millimeter barrel length um, the whole concept of concealed carry and all that's just out here you just conceal carry your phone and have the police on call if you're in trouble but um, I know some of my friends in the states in the more dangerous areas carry a concealed uh, firearm and they reckon the uh, the 45 has a knockdown, pre plenty of knockdown power but the lightweight polymer pistols with no real mass to absorb that recoil pretty vicious now heavier older 45 that we were shooting like the Colt 1911 beautiful I recommend it and that was a legal conceal um, supervised um, shooting experience I didn't show the um, owner on film out of his request but he was there the whole time we obeyed all the lo all the rules and it was great fun you just have you walk up have your turn check your eyes and ears bang 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 clear put the pistol on the table and then next person steps up Julian steps up or I step up and have another shot just one mag after the other I think we had about 10 mags each so that was great fun and I was actually getting a bit better by the end of it off camera um, yeah it's good fun uh, you'll see autopsy of one of the drives or two of the drives that I gave him on his channel so I'll post a link in the description JG certified on YouTube uh, he's just started doing PC videos, he's also done one on Crunchy, the Pentium 200 that kind of smoked out my shed with capacitor smoke one day. Uh, the mangled, That was a mangled one I found at the scrapyard, I gave that to him to uh, recase and put into a good home because he gave me the, uh, the old server and all that other stuff. All the server rack and a pile of 29, no not 2950s, um, 1950s. Gave me a pile of 1950s. Uh, a 2950, another 2850 with the um, ultra back plane in it. Um, two two terabyte WD green hard drives to kick off the uh, storage server or whatever I want. Uh, I think there's a, a Hewlett Packard ProLiant there somewhere with no caddies or anything. It's probably just a parts unit. Um, he said the amount of noise it made was just incredible when he powered it up. So nope, not going to use that again. Um, some other odds and sods like speakers and bits and pieces and Marantz all in one hi-fi and turntable a few other bits and pieces basically clean out his shed in preparation for a land party unfortunately it's this weekend and I don't think I'm going to be able to get down there I'll check my workload again but I don't know if I get down there definitely land party definitely not practicing games though god I'd be cannon fodder this time I have not gamed properly in a while Ah oh, well, if I get time I'll pop around and have some fun, it's not all, not about winning, it's about having fun. Anyway, thanks for watching, uh, any opinions on operating system are valid. Um, some people love open source software, some people hate it, some people love XP, some people hate it. Uh, it's always a battle, but I just want something that's simple, easy and works. Uh, that's sort of where an off the shelf pack of Windows 7 Ultimate would come in handy. Or maybe I do go all the way and go some custom open source software. I just want to be able to really encode videos using all eight CPU cores, well, assuming it even needs that many, and do probably multi-pass software encoding. Shove a one times PCIe card in there for video as well. I can I can do that. I can either cut down an existing card or buy one custom, well, not custom, but off the shelf. But yeah. There's always a solution to this, and I'm really excited about getting one of these going. Uh, the 1950s, again, I could shove two of these in this, and it'd go. Like, there's nothing missing out of it apart from two hard drives. It's all complete. It's got the front panel, the keys, everything. So that's ready to go, and again, there's probably another four or five of these 
without CPUs or RAM, just as parts units, everything else is there. I think one or two of them are missing the uh, SAS RAID card. Um, they all have their power supplies, their beefy power supplies. It's like 12 volts at 60 amps, plus a few auxiliary. 5 volts, yeah. No, 3.3 standby. And the rest of it's just 12 volts. 54.4 amps each. Dual redundant. So, no shortage of power supplies and parts to keep these girls going all... Probably as, until they're completely obsolete. It's just heaps of them. Oh well, that's about all for tonight and thanks for watching. We'll start getting some rail material in, make rails, shove servers in rack, test it all out and then look at pulling cables through, setting up uh, patch panels and things like that and a Cisco network switch he uh, donated. Uh, probably won't use that, it's an old IDE drive array. That'll be an interesting autopsy. Uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. It's a bit of a Tuesday night ramble for you and not much else on because things have been flat out at work <laughs> which is a good thing thanks for watching